first glance at the model. So far in the model, everything's been a good fit. Doing now with the brush, I'm putting in tiny colorations in the doors and the windows, and you can see me doing that now. Just to add a little bit more realistic. Here I put all the guns in off screen. For some reason I can't get that audio. Here you can see me with a marker putting in little black accents in some places. Right now I am testing out some new things with putting black paint on like a wet piece of towel and just rubbing it around to create oil spills or dust. And it seemed to work pretty well. Here I'm adding a little bit of rust around some of the edges, and there's the kind of one of the finished results. A little too heavy for me, so I had to tone it down. Here I'm starting to work on the towers. We'll go on the boat. Just cutting out the pieces, adding the rust, oil, and then just gluing it together. Rinse and repeat. Here I'm, I added all the towers together. See in the background on the boat, I already put them on. You know they're not good yet, just to see what it looked like. Pretty happy with the results. Right now I'm putting together the boats and I've already pre-painted some of the colors on. Putting the boats on, adding the details, and finished up that tower. See this is what it looks like after the rust and the oil. Now I'm adding them on forever. Probably a little bit more rusty on this model than they were in real life. And that's just a problem on me. This model is really an experimentation with. That's what it looks like with most of the towers. I'm gonna add on some cranes. Painting the plan. Pretty sure I got the color a little too light on these German planes, but I ran out of olive drab, so I had to use more of a tropical color. Which I actually, that color was acrylic mixed with, instead of an animal, so it was acrylic mixed with paint thinner. Here I'm adding on, I, I've off screen, I have painted the hull to make it look like rusty. So I did a coat of brown, light coat of black, and 
added just really heavy rust color accents around the edges of the hole. And then added gray where it would have been worn down expo exposing the metal. Here I've taped off where I'm going to start painting the copyright turpits marks. And them German engineers, they went crazy with painting the side of the boat. This is camouflage. So, I have painted the side of the boat. And I'm going to add on the rust and the oil accents to the side. See me using a sponge to add like little nicks in the black there where it would have exposed the dull gray. I'm adding on some rust inside of the dull, dull gray marks. And I start adding rust where it would have collected in some of the windows and places where it would anchor. I gotta add extra rust right where the anchor sits that's known to have a lot of rust on it. The top and the bottom part of the boat is to get is all painted. So now I glue it together. And I was pretty satisfied with the final result. I mean, it could have been a hundred percent better. I could have known better in weathering because I just started and learning weathering. But I don't know. I like it. I think it came out pretty nice. Um, if you have any suggestions, put them in the mo put them in the comments because I'm just starting off making models and I really enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed uh, this build. I believe this was Tamaya. Anyway, it was the German battleship Turk Pits. So there it goes. So uh, hey guys, um, back again. How are you guys doing during coronavirus? I know I'm doing okay. Thanks, Chewy. So, the word of the day is coronavirus, stay safe. If you're over 90, stay even safer. I'm out.